Hey guys, and welcome back to another Jay Dog in it video. Today I'm going to be wearing a mask so you can't really see my face. And we're going to be doing clay figures again. So, this time I will be on the camera because I set it up that way. So you are going to need to use to do this 36 color poly, 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 poly me clay set. Oh my god, it's so hard to see out of this thing. And I have my little extras from yesterday's video. Um, hold on guys, I'm just thinking about what colors. Uh, I'm going to help out my sister open up her colors. So, if you see these colors on the video right now, you don't have to use them. But actually, you guys could use any colors that you want. I'm just opening these for my sister because she is right there. Oh, there she is. And I'm going to be using two of her colors. From now on, guys, I'm going to be using my mask to make videos. And when I hit 200 subscribers, I will start doing videos without the mask. So, I'm going to be using this color today. You guys actually don't have to use any of the colors that you see in this video. You can use whatever colors you wish and like. Just remember that... You don't have to use the exact same colors. You could choose any colors you want. Like I could be using, you could use these two colors, you could use these two colors, you could literally use any colors that you want. We're, we're going to be using this color, and this color. For the video today. And here we go. Now we have our colors, and if we want, we have our handy dandy extras from yesterday's video to help us out. Now, if your characters don't look exactly like my characters, it's okay, because, well, you can't get exactly all the guesses and estimates, because I, I, just, I just make the characters as I move along. But this, in this video, it's going to be different because I will be showing you a before and an after bit, um, cooking it. So that's going to be like the only difference. But just remember to bake them at 275 for 30 minutes. Like preheat it to 275 while it's on bake and cook it for 30 minutes. So first we're going to be using this color, and we're just going to be flattening it down. Just flatten it to where it looks like this. And it's not exactly a perfect square anymore. That's okay, we're going to fold it over semi-evenly, towards like that, and then we're going to Break that part in half. And if it doesn't end up evenly, take the smaller half. And then roll it into a ball. So now this is going to be the character's head. So we could put that off to the side for now. Then take this color and mold it off evenly. Just like that, and then tear it in half, and take the bigger half, since I told you to do it off evenly, and take that bigger half, put, take some of this, and attach it to the very bottom, just like that. This character's going to be sick, guys, don't you worry. So now that that is like that, that's my little brother in the background. He, he's, he's eating and he doesn't like the bottle to be out of his mouth at any time. 
and then you're going to take this half. Well, first you're going to take off little tiny bits of it for the eyeballs later on. So, just like that big. Probably don't even like notice right now, but. And then, yeah, and then you're just going to attach it to the bottom of where the blue was. And as you can see, then we're going to take some of this. I'm probably, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to be using my handy dandy extras in this video. But remember, guys, to leave some of this left over at the very end. So that way you can, well, um, make the tiny figure at the end. So here you go. That's what he starts off like. Then you're going to take the head and you're going to attach it right at the top. And smush it down a bit and round it up up here. And then you're going to take the eyes that we made earlier and attach them right on the face to where he looks like that. And then you're going to take, well, I'm going to take my handy dandy extras from yesterday's video. I'm going to take off little tiny pieces. I'm going to put them right in the center of the eyes. Just like that. To make little pupils. And then you're going to take some more of your handy dandy extras. And you're going to attach it at the sides. For little tiny arms. And now guys, it doesn't look exactly perfect, but hey, it's still pretty cool, right? So here it is, and then you're just gonna, and then the reason that we had this at the end is you're just going to fold it over and mold all of that together right there. So that way you can, oops, stand. Look. Now we're going to take the remainders of my handy dandy extras and the other clay and we're going to make a tiny little figure. We might actually end up making two tiny figures so you're going to take about that much off of the green clay or whatever clay you're using and about that much off the other clay and we're just going to attach the circle on top of that. Now, tiny figures are, don't really make much sense, guys. And you're just going to attach a tiny little circle of clay to the eye, just like that. And you're going to take some green off, or whatever colors you're using. It doesn't have to be the same, remember. And also, you don't have to make any of these. I mean, you don't have to make the tiny figure or you don't have to make the big figure. You can just make whatever figures you want. And then these extras on the side, you're just going to fold over and then flatten on the bottom. So that way you can stand like that. Oh, wait. I forgot to show you him standing. There he is. So now we're going to take a check up on my sister. How you doing? Um, that is the green, you know. Wow. Now, we don't know how to make those because she's just been doing her own thing off on the side. But for the second tiny figure, you're going to take this, you're going to rip it off right like that. You're going to fold it into that. Actually, we're going to fold this one into a circle. Then we're going to take this. We're going to do this with it. I'm not really explaining very well, but that's okay. You can hopefully see by my actions. Make it just like that, and then we're going to take some more green off. Like about that much. We're going to fold it just like this and put it on top. And just wrap it around. Just wrap it around. And then here on the back, we're going to take some more green. Just like that. 
and put it on the back so that way you can only see that. So now that's kind of like his eyeball. And we're going to take this, take it off just a little, and put the pupil right in the center. Jackson trying to go to So there he is. And now my brother's going to sleep. And then we're going to take some of this. And we're just going to lay it right on top of him. Just like that. I think it's some, these are some pretty cool colors, guys. So, if you didn't, you probably should have used these colors because they are really cool. And then there's our second little baby guy. Oh. Now we're going to make a third baby guy just because we have more clay and I don't want any extras after this video. So you're just going to take half of the the remainders of whatever you had left, roll it up into a ball, and then take this, this, and just lay it right on top, and fold it all the way over to the bottom, and flatten it out, so it looks like that. Alright, and then we're going to take this green, And then we're just going to put it right in the middle, just there. And then with the rest of the green, you're just going to lay it right on the bottom, just like that. Make sure it doesn't get in the eye. Just fold it along, and then boom. Now I'm out of clay, and... I'm going to go get some tin foil ready to put my clay people on top. So I'm actually surprised. I made quite a bit of people. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you this one standing. We are going to have to flatten him out a bit. But there he is. There, there he is standing. So we're going to grab some tin foil. Oh, okay, sorry guys, I'm back, but you're going to need tin foil. And you're just going to put your clay figures on the tin foil. Guys, normally I'd be able to look at the camera and do this, but this mask is so hard to see. And there they all are on your tin foil. Okay, just... And then you're going to... I'm going to pause the camera for this and I'll get back to you. Because it's going to be hard to carry tin foil in the camera. So, I'll get back to you right when I bring the tin foil over here. Okay, guys, I'm back. But, but here they are. For this big guy, you're going to want to lay him flat on his back. That so way it doesn't break in the oven with the pressure on it. And so now you're going to go over here. Come over to your oven up here, click bake 275 for, oh wait, hold on, click cancel, bake, you know what, just preheat it to 275, that's all I have to say, because I can't hold the camera and do that, and I'll get back to you when it's done preheating. Hey okay, guys, it's been a... Okay guys, it's been approximately 30 minutes that it's been in the oven, so let's go take it out. Uh, excuse me, Nicole. Oh, okay guys, it's time to take out the clay figures. My clay! My clay! Yeah, we're gonna have to let it cool, Bugs. And here's the clay figures. You grab the camera now. And now you just have to let them cool until they're not hot anymore. But here's the finished product. That it if yours if yours came out like that, then congratulations you did it and goodbye and I'll see you next time.